Hi everyone, it's Elsie here and I'm really excited to bring you another Pink Fresh scrapbook video. Uh, so this time I'm making a 12 by 12 layout and I'm using the beautiful Indigo Hills collection. So I've done a little bit of planning um, and I cut these beautiful hot air balloon cut files which are designed by Ina Morova. I think I'm saying her name right and I will leave a link to them in the description box in case you want to uh, use them yourself they're beautiful and yeah they're just really simple but detailed at the same time <laughs> and yeah the pattern papers just look awesome behind them so I'm using sort of some blues and purple uh, patterns to back them and yeah I'm just I'm not backing each section um, you could and that would look great but I just decided to keep it relatively simple and uh, just use the one pattern paper behind each hot air balloon um, and I'm also uh, bringing in some gold glitter paper from my stash and I'm backing a few of um, uh, the details in the hot air balloon baskets um with some gold for um not gold foil gold glitter um and i really love the sparkle that that adds uh the collection has already has gold foil in it so it works really well and it's just nice and subtle without being too sort of blingy and in your face um yeah just adds a nice little detail so um these really didn't take long at all to back. Um, all the detail is in the cut file, so you really don't need to do more than just back them with your pattern papers. Um, I did decide to be a bit insane <laughs> and do some hand stitching, uh, which was quite fiddly because they're quite thin. Um, uh, the cut file's quite thin, so uh, the paper did rip on some of the pieces, but I just made it work. And yeah, it just adds some really lovely texture. Uh, which you'll see in a minute. Um, I'm currently just trimming all the edges just to make everything look very neat and perfect. And yeah, I think in the minute you'll see the finished hot air balloons. Oh, you'll see them there. Um, I also put some fun foam behind them just to give them a bit of dimension. And I'm also choosing between the background papers and I settled for this uh, orangey blue ombre. Um, I felt like the other one was nice, but it just made it, everything look a bit too dark and moody in a way. Um, and yeah, I liked this paper because it reminded me of like dawn and dusk and yeah. Uh, I just thought that worked well with sort of the sereneness of hot air balloons, if I'm making any sense. <laughs> so um, I am doing... Well, the tiniest, tiniest bit of mixed media. Um, I'm using some white gouache and I'm splattering that all over the background just to give like sort of the illusion of like stars or something like that. It just adds sort of like another layer, another dimension to the background, sort of helps set the sort of sky scene, I think. Um, and yeah, I really like using white gouache because... Um, I don't like using acrylic paint and gouache, if you don't know, is basically like opaque watercolour. So yeah, it's really easy to um, work with. And once all the white splatters were dry, I'm now sticking um, the hot air balloons in place. And yeah, I think um, I did do two layers of foam on the, yeah, on that, uh, the one I'm sticking down now, um, because, yeah, that they were kind of, like, overlapping, um, and, yeah, it just helped everything sort of stay, uh, level, <laughs> and, yeah, you know, with hot air balloons, you know, you've got to make them look like they're flying, quote-unquote, so, um, it's good to have a bit of foam and a bit of dimension on your page, I think. So, I've also already, um, I don't think I filmed that, um, but I chose this really cute watercolour scallop um, die cut frame, which I just put my photo into, and yeah, I just really like the way it works with um, sort of the colours and the design of the page. Um, and I also, as you saw there, I just fussy cut a load of those flower clusters from the 
Glen paper. I want to say it's called Glen. Um, and yeah, it's just these flowers just to die for. Um, I could fussy cut them for days and days and days on end. And although you would not have sort of flowers like that in the sky, um, <laughs> we're just rolling with it. Um, I just think it looks really cute and yeah, just makes a sort of nice embellishment um, for the page. Um, I am also going to use that rainbow die cut, uh, which I have been hoarding <laughs> um, and wanting to use. And this was this was its final resting place. <laughs> um, well, that makes it sound really morbid, but anyway, uh, yeah, I absolutely love uh, that little rainbow. It just looks so cute, and so I kind of made that look like it was kind of coming out the corner of my photo and I used uh, a cloud punch uh, which I think is from Fiskars and yeah it's like one of my most used items in my stash um, and I just punched some clouds out of some white cardstock and I put that at the end of the rainbow <laughs> just why not eh <laughs> if you're going whimsical you might as well just go all out um, and yeah everything's just coming together I'm popping up um, all these flower clusters on some foam dots um, and yeah also the clouds are going on with foam dots I, I you know I think it's just important for like a page like this which has like kind of a sky slash flying slash hot air balloon kind of theme going on that you kind of you play with dimension and sort of get that sort of lift um, and yeah it just makes the whole page seem really sort of dynamic i hate that word but <laughs> dynamic um yeah and as you can see i'm taking about 10 years to decide on where everything goes um but uh yeah photo taking is my best friend in this scenario because i can sort of ha get a better look at what i'm what looks good where so I think that's pretty much everything. Um, this layout was really simple to put together, but um, I think it looks like I spent way more time on it than I did. Um, and I think that's down to all the beautiful embellishments and papers and the cut file. Um, everything just kind of flows together um, and works really well. Oh, I'm, I'm also using that puffy sticker title. Um, I just love the font of that and how it just nestles really nicely into the corner of my photo. Um, yeah, that just yeah, it just looks so good. And the final thing to do is stamp the date. Um, this is something that I need to remind myself to do this year because I'm so bad at remembering to uh, stamp it. So yeah, I think that's pretty much everything. Um, so yeah, really simple but hopefully you'll find it inspiring. I really love the Indigo Hills collection and yeah, after all the Christmas madness, it was nice to sort of get back to this collection and use some of my favorite bits and pieces up. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and make sure you like and subscribe and I'll leave links to everything down below and I'll see you very, very soon. Bye everyone.